Classification of Metals, Conductors and Semiconductors On the basis of conductivity, metals possess very low resistivity or high conductivity. Semiconductors possess resistivity or conductivity intermediate to metals and insulators. Insulators possess high resistivity or low conductivity. Semiconductors are of two types. Elemental semiconductor, example, silicon SI and germanium GE. Compound semiconductor, example, cadmium sulfide CDS, gallium arsenide GAAS, cadmium selenide CDSE, indium phosphide INP, indium antimonide INSP, etc. On the basis of energy bands, inside the crystal, each electron has a different energy level. These different energy levels with continuous energy variation form energy bands. The energy band which includes the energy levels of the valence electrons is called the valence band. The energy band above the valence band is called the conduction band. Normally, the conduction band is empty, but when it overlaps on the valence band, electrons can move freely into it. This is the case with metallic conductors. Insulators If there is a large band gap, e.g. greater than 3 eV, between the conduction band and the valence band, electrons in the valence band all remain bound and no free electrons are available in the conduction band. This makes the material an insulator. Semiconductors At temperatures T greater than 0 Kelvin, some electrons move from the valence band to the conduction band. These thermally excited electrons at T greater than 0 Kelvin partially occupy the conduction band. There is a finite but small band gap, e.g. less than 3 eV, at room temperature, some electrons from valence band can acquire enough energy to cross the energy gap and enter the conduction band. These electrons, though small in numbers, can move in the conduction band. Hence, the resistance of semiconductors is not as high as that of the insulators.